that says that is not alive. So today you are here. Uh, as you are celebrating those two events, you are eating and uh, 20 years from this establishment. Do you think it's uh, a win win situation from two, two parties? Well, probably, I think it, it feels good and it, it feels great to be here in, uh, in one part, first of all, because uh, it's been a while for our team to be here. The last time we were here was uh, 2019 when we played in Kagami. So from there on, we never had a chance to play against uh, teams from uh, Rwanda, apparently not even in Tanzania. So the first reaction uh, and the and many questions rose up and came in uh, from our uh, nomination that we were going to face uh, APR in the CAF Champions League. But uh, from their own words, we are taking this uh, match as an opportunity, a very big opportunity, uh, not to feel the rhythm and the atmosphere and how football is in Rwanda since we haven't been here for a while but also to, to, to create uh, the exposure, try to expand our wings to, to, to one of the members that makes the, the East African community. So we know that if you want to be a big team, if you want to be the football tycoons in, uh, in Africa, that is one of the main keys that we should go through. So we came in to play against Royal Sport. We know they have a very good team. We know that they are, uh, they are quality opponents, that we need to face in our preps uh, for the coming game and uh, as we look in our fourth international uh, friendly game because uh, uh, lately we played against Sweden, uh, Sablanca and Morocco where our game was based in pre-season so now we are coming in to play Royal Sport uh, to create the fan base that we are looking for to expand our wings and uh, to use it as a I don't know how to put it but uh, I think probably probably it would be a very good uh, uh, how how should I put it I don't know it would be a very good uh, uh, preparation for the coming game against uh, a APR because we know that the fan base that Rio Sport has uh, comparing to the one with APR the whatever and, yep Fault. yes whatever rivalism there is between the APR and Rio Sport and other teams around is what we are looking forward to seeing in, in this match and for us we know the fan base you have will give us the real taste of what we are going to face in the coming games but for 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 for, for us we've seen it's a great opportunity to be here and to to to, to expand our wings as i said before and uh, to, to to feel the rhythm of football in one i think you can explain a little bit about azam Khan. what is that what are you going to expose to Mosul? Yes, Azamka itself is the normal uh, annual league festival that we do for, for our team. Normally we use this uh, festival to uh, introduce our new players to, uh, to the fans out there. And uh, for our fans, for the first time after the team coming on uh, from the, from the pre-season, to feel the rhythm of whatever that we attain out there. Because Normally they don't get to see the matches that we play away. If they get to see it, it not it properly, like uh, what Azam TV could show. So we use it as, an, uh, as a platform to showcase our players, to showcase how much we feel, uh, how good we appreciate our fans. And most of it is to showcase our, our, our new players on how we introduce them. So, Tomorrow is Shabba, if God uh, bless us and uh, we, we get there, we'll have like 45 minutes, wasn't yeah. it? Yes, 45 minutes to show you our new players. You know, our team is a cocktail of uh, different nations. Yeah, we have players from Senegal, we have players from Gambia, we have players uh, from Colombia, we have players uh, from Sudan, we have different players from different countries, and we would really like to see them. Actually, this is one of the facts that I came in to know like a uh, few weeks ago. Haruna Nyonzi from Rio Sport. The very first time he came in for Tanzania, uh, in Tanzania, he came in for Azam FC. Unfortunately, he couldn't play in our team. It's a scene, it's a big shame that he never got to play for Azam FC. And uh, he is, he's a well decorated player. He's a player that we all appreciate. He left Tanzania uh, with fans from all, all teams. 
not the teams that he served for. So he's one of the players that we want to, to see tomorrow as a team because he's a friend, but we want the fans from Rayo's Sport in this international friendly game also to see our players and we'll do our best to make sure that they know them, that when we live here, they'll be doing follow-ups on, on them. You never know. Maybe we'll have a player from Rayo Sport to play for Azam FC, or maybe we'll have players from Azam FC and come in to play for Rayo Sport. Okay. Last question. Why is it that uh, your day coincided with the Rayo Sport day? Yeah, that's a very good question. I was actually waiting for that. Well, you see, football, the River League comes on the ground, on the pitch, when the match is on. Outside the pitch, few hours, few minutes before the match, yeah? But from there onwards, we are friends, we are family, because whatever that unites us is football, isn't it? So, coming in to play against Royal Sport, as I mentioned earlier, is to try to reach out to football fans out there. Our league back home now is uh, fifth ranked in Africa. So, creating more friends, Creating a more relationship outside of football gives us more wings to fly and uh, probably it, it would be a good advantage for our country, for our league and the team itself. So we are trying to see how we can create other bases out of uh, Tanzania as we've uh, submitted ourselves well in Tanzania. And from there, you never know. Could, we could, uh, probably Royal Sport could be uh, recognized as one of uh, fans of Azam out of Tanzania. I'm not saying it in a bad way, but the way we interact, the way that we agree to come into this festival is how we create that friendship that will be recognized as one of, one of the friends of, uh, of uh, as a football club out of Tanzania. So Rwanda is a very good country. We know President Kagame have a very good relationship with Mama Samia and everything. And we want to keep that bond uh, going and going and going. But the main purpose is to uh, keep uh, this friendship going on and to create more fan base outside. Okay, I think we can conclude. Okay, last, last, Julie. Uh, what do you say about the people that said that you want to take advantage of your own sports fans because you don't have many fans? Comment about that. Uh, by the way, they say you don't, you don't get married before you come to run. Even Tanzania. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Honestly speaking, if uh, you go back to our history as a club, we have never taken advantage of any situation. Yeah? Whatever that made us come here, it's uh, football purpose only. We do not hide when we play our friend games as our friends back there. We do everything open because our club is being driven in a modern way. That's how we do it, that's how we roll with our staff. Yeah? So taking an advantage that we are going to come here and play against the APR, so we need the families of APR, uh, of uh, Rayo Sport, yes, we want their fans. You cannot, football, you need to hear the voices out there chanting like, go, just do it. Attack when you score, you need to hear those noises of celebration. That's what keeps you going. So, we know we have a very, a very good relationship with Royal Sport. So, their fans definitely, since we don't have a problem with them, and their rivals with the APR, they'll come in to support us. We definitely know that. And we, 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 for, for how our club is, we know Kill Sport will come in. <laughs> we know the other clubs will come in because we don't have a problem. So, whatever club that has a problem with APR, I know they are going to support us. <laughs> but Sabre Club has a problem with APR, they are going to support us. But uh, it's not personal because we have a very big super respect for APR. They have a legacy in uh, East African football. They have very good teams, they have very good coaches. They came into Tanzania for Kagame Cup uh, last few weeks. They played very well against big teams and they scored uh, uh, a lot of goals. They played in the finals, yeah. And we are very happy that we are going to face them. Now it's not about the APR guys. Now it's about our sport, and tomorrow is open. Now, thank you very much. Uh, the event itself is kicking off, but the gates will be open at noon. Sasita, Zuzuye, Hanyuma, uh, the football game will be kicking off on uh, at uh, 6 p.m. So before 6 p.m., between uh, noon and 6 p.m., there will be entertainment. 
team's presentation. Ray also will be the team will be presented. And uh, as I may see, will be presented as well. Because now, yes, the CCPR young sport will be presented. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't miss out tomorrow in Moko Niyomo. Murakoze cha. See you. Murakoze cha.